cultivate more self-love is that you will be doing the things that you've been trying to do to take care of yourself and to love yourself, but from a more authentic place. So like, for example, if you haven't really known where to start, you go on Pinterest and you type self-love tips or self-care tips or something like that, you're going to get all these lists of like acts of kindness, things you can do to treat yourself, take a bubble bath, go get a massage, like eat good food, drink lots of water. Yes, those are all amazing things to do for yourself. But if you don't have that authentic self-love backing it up, you're just doing those things out of obligation because you actually don't love yourself. And yes, it's going to help you to take better care of yourself, but wouldn't you rather come from an authentic place where you actually do love yourself first and because you love yourself, you're inspired to eat better food, you're inspired to treat yourself to nice things, you're inspired to set better boundaries? That's the place you want to start coming from. So when you start to love yourself, those things that you've been trying to do in order to love yourself will naturally happen because you already do love yourself. So instead of working from the outside in, you're going to be going from the inside out and blooming that way. So whereas maybe you didn't eat great before, after you love yourself, you're not just going to be eating good just because you know that's something you have to do. You're going to actually feel inspired to eat better. You're going to be like naturally drawn to foods that are better for you. So that's a super, super, super important side effect that just naturally starts to happen once you love yourself more.